It's not uncommon to have a hero banner with a large image, and then when you check your page speed performance, you can't help but notice that there's a warning or a diagnostic recommendation about the preloading of the largest content full paint. And when you click into it, it might be text or it might be an image and you're going, well, it's a WebP image, it's sized properly, why is that coming up? And it may appear to be a bigger problem on the mobile. Now, don't be fooled by the value of 8.5 seconds. It does not take that long and these always exaggerate it. But you're going to be told that you need to sort this out, you need to preload it and the time to first bite is, you know, 600 milliseconds and that could bother you. So how do you sort that out? It's really easy to do. What we need to do is preload the image in your hero banner because that is the biggest thing that's being loaded and the time to first byte is saying it takes 600 milliseconds. What that means is that it's the time for it to render. So as your page loads before it becomes interactable, now there's no call to action button on there, but the interaction side of it is someone being able to visualize and see the image. So what we're going to do is preload that. So what we're going to do is find out the ID for this image, and drop it into a code snippet, and then that will preload this image. And trust me, some of you are probably saying, yeah, but I've ensured that lazy loading is not occurring. and I've made sure that image is not being lazy loaded. So why is there still a delay? Hey, look, this is just the way the internet and the way things work, okay? You just got to ensure it is preloaded. So what you want to do is go over to your media library and then go and click the icon over here to put everything into a list. Because when you now go over to your image and you can do a search for it and you hover over the image or the title, at the bottom, can you see that there is an ID? I'm just going to go over to this one here just so that we can understand it. So for the Montserrat font, the ID is 36780. Okay, I hope you can see that on screen, but the actual ID I need is for this image and it is 36792. While I'm here, I've got this other little image over here as well. I I've snuck that one in. I want to ensure that is preloaded as well. So let's go back to the media library. I hover over that image and I get the ID of 36791. What we then do is we take those IDs and we're going to add them to this code snippet. The link for this code is in the video description. You can go and click and get it for free. There's no need to sign up or anything like that. Go and copy and paste it into the code snippet plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository. Drop it in and all you need to do is change the IDs over here. If it was just one image, get rid of the comma and get rid of the second value. If there's five images you want to preload, and please bear in mind, don't be silly here. Don't start to preload like 20 images, especially if loads of them are way down the page because they will load. What we're really worried about is the images right near the top above the fold before you scroll down. So those two images that are probably going to be above the fold on the mobile and the desktop because it just creeps in on the desktop, the second image. I want to preload them. So I've now dropped both IDs into here. And then all you got to do is hit save changes and activate. I recommend that you regenerate your CSS and purge your site and your server before you jump back into PageSpeed Insights. And if we go to the results, we can see that that recommendation is no longer there. So it is now being preloaded. It's absolutely fine. If you go to the past audits, we can see where is it? There, where is it? There it is. Largest content for paint image was not lazy loaded. So everything is coming through OK. And you'll see the same on the mobile as well. Now, don't get me wrong. It still says 2.2 milliseconds. Don't forget, this does exaggerate the values. But look, everything is coming through. It's no longer in red or orange. Now, don't stress yourself out too much about page speed scores because sometimes they do have to go down depending on what you got. But if you've got a client where you'd promised them a high performing website, or maybe this one little thing is bringing the score down and you just want to pump it up a little bit because this can easily add like 20% back onto your score. This is the code snippet you need to use. Add in your IDs. It now ensures they're preloaded. Even when you've said do not lazy load, this can still hit you in the nuts if you're not careful. So this will now ensure that those images that you've put the ID in are preloaded. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. If you want to hire me to work with you or help you out, you know where I am. The links and emails are in the video description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and follow. Go and check out our courses and our guides. I'll see you soon.